Hey, what's going on, guys? EC here, and today I want to talk about Atari and television, and could we see Atari pick up in television? Now, I saw, well, I say I saw, I saw, made a video about this stuff like nine months ago, but things have changed since then, so I want to talk about whether or not we could see such a deal happen. Now, I don't think personally that Atari would be interested in buying the assets of its intelligent, at least not in television at its current state. Intelligent itself, as a brand, has kind of damaged itself, has damaged its own reputation for quite a while, and I don't see a lot of uh, companies like Atari wanting to get involved with that brand. However, the games that Intelligent owns might be a different story, because obviously, Intelligent has quite a big ga- uh, library of games, of classic games for the Intelligent and whatnot, so hopefully they could find a way to like negotiate and sell some stuff to Atari. Now, obviously, I'm an Atari investor, I've followed Atari for quite a while, I, I've, I've, I've always been, uh, sorry, I'm a bit sick right now, but I've been uh, trying to, I've been buying and Atari's stock for a little while, but I want to talk about this, so Atari basically could, has already made a deal with Intelligent in the past to buy DM Network games, which I feel was quite a good deal, because these were, these were Atari 2600 games made by Intelligent, so could we see another deal like this, and we see Atari become other Intelligent games, well, I don't really know, because with Intelligent, it's a weird thing because several of the games have already been sold to companies like BBG Entertainment. So games like Shark, Shark, Astro Smash, and Dino Blaster, you ain't getting them. Atari ain't going to be able to get them. But if you look at other stuff, then it's like, okay, well, maybe you get, I don't know, maybe, I think it's like called like what, Castle of Doom or Temple of Doom or something like that, or Cloudy Mountain or stuff like that. Like, there are games in television that has the rights to that could be sold. But whether or not Atari is the one to buy them. I'm not entirely sure because Atari has been obviously picking up very select uh, companies and libraries and over the last few, like year or so. And I feel like where they're at now, they don't really need to buy Intelligent's library because they have so many games from the other libraries they own. They own just like Turok, they own Bubsy, Hardball, so many other games. I don't really see there being a, much for, well, much for Intelligent that can really add to Atari. Will I like to see this still happen? Yeah, sure, if Atari if can make this still happen and bring more of these retro games to modern platforms and make sure they're preserved in history, sure, why not? But I don't see it being like something that they're going to do, like, say, like, right now, sort of like, this, like today or tomorrow sort of time. I don't really know if Atari is even in, interested in buying Intelligent, because Intelligent, obviously, like I said, has damaged their brand image for quite a bit. But we will find out sooner or later whether or not a deal is made. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, turn notifications. I've been EC, and I'm signing out. Peace.